Charlie, I'm about to have my brain locked open. Still tell me you're lying. Tara. Are you feeling Dr. Lowe? Suitably relaxed, I yes, hope. thank you. Oh, um, baklava. Yes, I'm perfecting the recipe. She's nil by mouth. I know, but this is to incentivize a swift recovery. Thank you. May I have a word? Um, I do exist. You know I'm still capable of a conversation. Why are voices raised? <sighs> I'm completely stuck. Do you think, even vaguely, that airway care could be compromised by a combination of a common cold, mild asthma and sufentanin? Who's saying this? Her mother. She pieced it together off the internet. Oh, I went on the internet once. I discovered I had hepatitis and dengue fever. Thank you. So, Dr. Valentine's mentioned your respiratory concerns to me. This is an accredited university. It was in Time magazine. Yes, I do understand, but I can assure you that Miss McMillan is the very best in her field. There's no chance her judgment could be wrong on this. Really? You really think so? I do, yes. It will be okay, will it? I keep trying to tell you... I was asking the doctor. And if I wasn't confident that the outcome would be excellent, I wouldn't comment. In fact, I can promise you that there will be no respiratory complication. Listen to him. Okay. Thank you. So, you need to present a united front for your daughter and your wife. I, can you take this away before I go crazy? How can you be so sure? No, I can't. You and I both know, now we have mitigated risk for fear and flu, the outcome is down to luck. But you know that, don't you? You shouldn't say something if you don't believe it. Yes, I should. And you know that also. Good luck. Thank you. Miss Hanson, did you get my voicemail about that kid on AAU? No. Oh, OK, well, basically, it's the principle. If, if we report it with the fact of assuming his guilt and setting him on a potentially life-changing course... Now, I know kids from board sounds don't feature on your radar, but in this case, you should use your power for good, not evil. Not, not evil, but you know what I mean. Actually, no, you're completely incoherent and I'm currently on leave. Would you mind taking up your concerns with my deputy, please? Well, thanks a bunch, Mr Hanson. Nice knowing you. Oversized Pinocchio. Oh, I'm covering while Hans Christian Henriksen keeps vigil. Cinnamon. No. Pistachio. No, wrong, it's cashews. Ah, yes, yes. Very good. They will ring us, won't they? Yes. This is what it must be like. That thought crossed my mind. Hanson? your case pan out, Dr. Wilde? Ah, well, uh, she exceeded all expectations. Uh, it's a real pity she's been replaced by a bunch of software. Good to hear that. Uh, how did Taurus opt go? There was a complication. Dr. Lowe's condition was very grave. Yeah, but she'll make it, won't she? She's being ventilated in ITU, but the reality is she is brainstem dead. What? I'm sorry, I should have made that clear from the start. Dr. Lowe is dead. That's the worst breaking of bad news I've ever heard in my whole life. There'll be an email about cancelling. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to criticise. All right, I'm used to your little outbursts. Look, can I withdraw my resignation? I'll fall into line up on this. 
I can't go for a few months without a salary, and my alternative is falling through. So basically, if you want me to beg on the floor, I will. Because when you've got a kid and responsibilities, well, there's no shame in having no shame, is there? There is now an unfilled F1 place, so Darwin's loss is a huge gain. I'm so sorry. Well, it was the most difficult case. Thank you for your work. On behalf of the Trust and indeed all the staff, may I express my deepest sympathy. Thank you. It's appreciated. Right. Johnny? It's no good time to... Yeah, that's what she wanted. OK. Um, the assessment is that most of the major organs are not damaged, so it's... Good. That's great news. Let's do it. I'll ask the transplant coordinator to come and talk to you. Are we all agreed on this, or do we need more time? It was her wish. <laughs> 